Okay, um, so I am just going to make a quick tutorial thing-ish on showing how to put clothes onto your rigs. Um, so the main issue is you want to get this shirt uh, or dress as close as possible to the body shape. You can probably do that in sculpting or edit mode or whatever. Um, but yeah, you just want to get it as close to the body as possible. And what we're going to do first is we're going to skin the body to the rig. Um, I'm using auto rig, but you can press control P and you can just parent it automatically with automatic weights. But because I paid for the auto rig add on, I'm going to use it. It just has a better skinning solution. Okay. Now let me show you what happens when I parent the dress to this. I'm going to do with automatic weights so everybody can keep up. Okay, uh, we might get fa a thing that says failed, and that's to be expected. Um, yeah, so sometimes it won't stick or anything. Um, so let me try auto rig. Let me just see what happens. Um, it might get a better solution, but I doubt it. Okay, let's see uh, the binding result. So you can see like there's a lot of stretching and issues like if there's loose parts, which you'll probably get from Marvelous Designer, it's always a nightmare, especially when you're buying clothes online. But there is an easy fix. So it doesn't matter if it already has weight paints. Uh, you could just, in fact, let's remove it. Delete all groups. So with the body skinned, that is more than enough information to work with. So what we're going to do is transfer weights from the body to the clothes. So we're going to select the body, hold shift and click on the clothes. So the clothes need to be highlighted by the bright orange. And then we're going to go into weight paint and then we're going to click weights, transfer weights, click this little box down here and we're going to change source layers selection, I think from active layer to by name and then we have vertex mapping so you might have to fiddle around with this to get the best results but for me a uh, face nearest face interpolated works most of the time and now let's see how this is skinned hey there we go um nothing sliding we can do this we can shake the booty um you might have to clean it up by manual weight painting. Um, yeah, I think that's good enough. Um, there we have the dress. Um, in fact, let me see if I can fix it. Um, so let's go to weight paint and let's search. Oh, um, I usually just click on the vertex groups and hold down the up arrow till something appears. So this thing, let's smooth it out. So we're going to go to weights, smooth. Um, what I'd like to do is I right click it and add to quick favorites. Okay, but let's just quick click on smooth and iterations. Um, that's how many times it's going to be smoothed out. So let's just type in a ridiculous number of 15. Okay, it lost the vertex group. It's still there. Okay, let's go back to it. Sweet, okay, and that's how you smooth things. It's a little bit better. You just want to spend time smoothing things a lot more. Now, um, it looks a little bit weird because you can see the arm sticking out. Uh, there is a quite easy fix. We just deleted. So we're going to isolate this. Um, I'm holding down alt so if you hold down alt and you click on an edge you can yeah you select the loop so i'm gonna press delete on this guy uh from the neck let's go down here no maybe here delete this and then for the arms i'm just gonna is that a good or bad idea i'm gonna delete this segment and i'm gonna delete the segment ideally you want to make a copy of this model in case you're gonna need it for later. Okay, and now, there you go. We have perfect clothes. Don't ask me why I dressed this man up in like some kawaii outfit. 
And yeah, essentially, just to recap, all you have to do is transfer weights. Um, there are other methods if it gets tricky, but I might do a follow up on that because I do see some light issues and skinning. But yeah, hope this helps. And that's how you rig cloves. Okay, cheerio.